Welcome to This Is My Architecture. My name is Raul, and today I have with me Brian from Redfin. Hi. Hi, Brian. Can you tell us a little bit about what Redfin does? Sure, we're a full-service real estate broker that uses technology to help our customers buy and sell homes and improve that home buying experience for them. Oh, that sounds great. Um, so, what do you have to share with us today? Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about how we tell people uh, about events in the real estate that are of interest to them, particularly when they're trying to buy a home somewhere in the United States. Awesome. So, here's the end user, the home buyer. Right. Um, how does the data come? Like, what's the flow here? Well, first of all, someone has to put a house on the market. So, we have a nice house over here. Maybe it's in Denver, maybe it's in Miami. And this person hires a real estate agent, ideally a Redfin one, to put their house on the market and sell it. And the information about that home goes into a local multiple listing service. And that multiple listing service is one of many throughout the United States. Redfin belongs to all these multiple listing services. And so the data, we get a data feed that goes from the multiple listing service into our internal database. It's PostgreSQL, it's running in our data center. And we have a replica of that running in an EC2 instance on AWS. Awesome. So what sort of scale are we talking about from uh, on your sourcing? Well, on the sourcing, there's probably tens of thousands of events per day on a, on a typical day. Uh, that's, a, that's a challenging, that, that's a good challenge. Um, so this database, which is running on EC2, uh, what happens once the data is in there? Well, we want to tell people about these events. So the first thing is we have Kafka Connect that's listening to events in uh, the database and uh, basically publishes them, in, uh, notify, in, you know, detects that something has happened and publishes them to a Kafka topic. So, so these are running in Docker. Right. There's a single instance of uh, EC2 there. It's a single instance of running on EC2 instance. Okay. And how are you handling the reliability and the availability of this Apache Kafka? Well, that's one of the beauties of Kafka is that it has uh, replication. We have uh, many instances of Kafka running, and uh, one of its features is that it replicates the data to multiple instances of the broker. So everything is, has uh, multiple copies, and if one of the brokers goes down, you still have the data available. Oh, awesome. And um, Talk to me about the consumption of these topics. What happens once the data is sitting in the streaming solution? Okay, so once we have information that we've gotten out of our database into a Kafka topic, we want to figure out, you know, it's an event, maybe it's a new home that came on the market, we want to figure out who do we tell. And so the first thing that happens is this matcher, this match uh, event in our SAMSA stream, listens to a particular Kafka topic that, uh, you know, for about these listing updates, that something happened, that there's a new house on the market, and it goes out and runs a uh, SQL query to get data about the, uh, all the people who may be looking for a house that matches that, whose criteria match that particular event. So this new house came on the market, we want to tell all the people who are looking for a house of that type in Denver. Is this the same database that you have over yes, here? Yes, that is the same one. This is simplifying the drawing. So. Okay. So what happens after the, the, the match process of the match? Service? Okay, so that match in a busy market like Seattle or the Bay Area may actually match thousands of people. There may be thousands of people for one event that we want to tell, here's a new house on the market or here's a price change on a house on the market. So uh, that gets published. Th all those individual events get published back into another Kafka topic, which then gets read by this organizer. And that organizer is going to go out and gather all the data about the house. We just know something happened. We don't know anything about the house yet, like how much does it cost, what's, where is it, what's the picture for it, who's, who's the listing agent, all these kinds of information about the house that we want to include when we tell the person. And all this data, wh where is the data persisted? Again, that's persisted in Kafka topics, but using something called, that SAMSA provides called a local store, which is a... Uh, uh, uses a, something called RocksDB, but it's backed up by uh, Kafka topics. So that if your container application dies, then, and it gets restarted, even if it restarts in a separate EC2 instance, it will continue from where it left off. Great, and so what happens afterward? So I, I, I feel like getting, we're getting closer to the Yeah, so we're getting closer to the, the end. So once we've organized the data, and we know that it's something that we're finished, uh, and it's time to sell someone, we again, published to a Kafka topic, which gets picked up by a formatter, which turns it into a nice HTML format, makes it pretty, and once it's done that, it sends it off to a notify step, which connects to an SMT SMTP service to s actually send the email to our customer. This SMTP service, is this running on AWS or is this running on, uh, on your data center? It's running in our data center, and one reason for that is we've already established a strong reputation with uh, various ISPs regarding email so that we don't have to worry about our email being uh, detected as spam. Awesome. So uh, 
What's the next thing that you guys are looking for to evolve this architecture? Well, that's a good question. I mean, we're continually adding new features. That, that I've simplified this. We already have features for push and things like that, so we can send push notifications as well. Um, we're looking at how we integrate this with not just homes that match uh, what people are looking for, but homes that might be similar to things that they look for and are, we could recommend. Um, we're looking at uh, other features like different kinds of email that we might send people like, oh, here's an email about all the open, open houses in their neighborhood this weekend, things like that. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing this. Thank you. And thank you for watching. This is my architecture.